welcome back. I'm Tiger Taylor and this is Dr. Sean Miles. Good day. And today we're going to be talking about the lab abnormality for increased MCV. MCV? Do you know what that stands for? If you don't, I can explain it. I believe it is a mean cell volume. Pretty close. Mean corpuscular cell volume, yes. Okay. And what does that mean? So does that mean the size of your red blood cells is bigger, so they're yeah, so just if, bigger? Right, so if you have an elevated NCV, that is the size of your red blood cells are bigger than they should be, or bigger than average. And so that's what we're going to talk about today, because you may have gotten a lab that says, I've got an elevated NCV, or size red blood cell. So, we should talk about maybe some things that cause elevated NCV. Tiger, I bet you know some of these because we, we've had patients with this. Why don't you name a few for us? Yeah, so one common one is some vitamin deficiency, such as B12 and folate. Yes, both of those are B vitamins, so B12 and folate. Both uh, are in the bones, in the bone marrow, where your blood cells are being produced. And if you don't have optimal levels of those, they are produced bigger than usual, which is kind of odd. Because you might think if you're not producing them right, they might be smaller. But this, in this case, they're bigger. So yes, one of the things that we do is check your B12 and folate. Or we might just say, hey, take a B12 or a B-complex vitamin supplement, and then we'll recheck it later and see what's going on. Yeah, and also some thyroid conditions can lead to... Particular, yes, particularly low thyroid. If you have low or hypothyroidism, that can raise the size of your red blood cells too. So are there any toxins that can also cause this? I'm glad you mentioned that. The biggest mm -hmm. toxin that we actually see that can cause this is alcohol. Mm -hmm. And while alcohol can be useful for certain people, in excess, it definitely can affect the bone marrow and actually gets toxic effects on the bone marrow. So what we don't want to do is drink so much that it's causing these red blood cells to enlarge and uh, find that. Because if you drink and your red blood cells are up, you're being affected by it and you need to cut back. Other potential toxins uh, would include certain medicines, so things that we take on a regular basis. There's not too many medicines that we take that do this, but there are some. So that's something you want to talk to your doctor um, about if your red blood cells are up and they don't know that you're taking this medicine. It's always a good idea to go to your doctor for a yearly wellness exam just to get a routine blood work and make sure everything is in order and you don't need to be taking any vitamins or supplements or if you need to stop taking vitamins or supplements, it's always a good idea to go and check. Very good idea. Okay, so a patient gets their labs back and they have elevated NCV. And so when do they need to follow up again to have it rechecked? Okay, so they've, you know, maybe they cut back on the alcohol or taking the supplements or something like that. We want to give it about three months to recheck it. And the reason is the life cycle of a red blood cell is about three or so months. So that's a good time to check it back is when you have a, a new population of red blood cells to make sure they're back to normal. Okay, thanks so much for answering that. Very good. If you have any questions, you should call and ask your doctor because they're here to help.